The following bout is brought to you by Autobahn Leasing, set in the XFN straw weight division. And as for the interim XFN amateur straw weight championship, with three three minute rounds of action. Introducing first, challenger number one, fighting out of the blue corner. This wrestler stands at four feet, 11 inches tall. Wow. She weighed in at 116.4 pounds. She enters this fight with an amateur MMA record of one win and one loss and fighting out of base Vancouver and team Hurricane Awesome in Napa Vine, Washington. She is Tasha T-Rex Cleveland. And her opponent across the cage, fighting out of the right corner, she is challenger number two. This striker stands at five feet, four inches tall. She weighed in at 115.2 pounds. She enters this fight with an amateur MMA record of one win and two losses and fighting out of American top team, Coconut Creek and Jupiter, Florida. She is Evelyn Romo. The referee assigned to this fight, Ray Ramos. Ray, Ray Ramos with the last minute instructions here. <clears throat> Tasha Cleveland, Evelyn Romo. Evelyn Romo will have a uh, pronounced reach advantage, and she loves to stick that jab out there. Yeah, Round number one underway, no touch of the no gloves for Tasha. Ball. That's okay. Boom, double jab already. Inside leg kick from Cleveland. Cleveland looking to close the distance. That's good straight punches from Romo. A lot of action early. Yeah, that that's how you slow down a T-Rex. Yeah, Evelyn Romo has a good pace. Oh man, a couple good right hands from Romo. Her boxing is not yeah. to be slept on. Yeah, Romo Romo's boxing is is, is top notch. It is, and if you follow her on social media, all of a sudden you'll see that she's in Atlanta at these underground smokers fighting three four times in a weekend. Boxing, as a, she's a she's a car carrying USA boxer. She loves to box. She does MMA, purple belt in jiu jitsu. Uh, Tasha Cleveland, a uh, a four stripe blue belt, very good on the ground. Good wrestler, good uppercut there from Romo. Good inside leg kick from Cleveland, opening the stance of Romo. The more Romo gets comfortable with those hands, the more Cleveland's gonna be able to chop those legs up. A lot of, lot of red on the face of Cleveland already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, she's wearing some real damage. Yeah, she's, and, but she's just coming in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 60% touch in there from Cleveland, uh, from uh, Romo rather. Cle Cleveland looking to get inside of that. Yeah, and Romo, uh, Cleveland just keeps coming forward. Yes, yeah, she does, which Romo keeps touching her for. Oh, that one! That one made it back. Good right back hand, yeah. Bit. Now we got some color. Yeah, busts the nose up. Throws a leg kick just to keep her honest, and goes back to the box. A good right hand oh, again from Romo. Another good right hand by Romo. Good left hook as well. Now Cleveland wants to wrestle in on a good single leg, good takedown there. Man, Tasha Cleveland when she decided to wrestle, did a good job. She's already in mount. Got the legs, got the legs wrapped there. Yeah, she's leaking a lot. Romo really come in here to the side, giving the back. Looking yep. for the, I think Romo's looking for the half guard. Yep. Yeah, but she's got the arm, tri arm triangle threat there. She wants to be careful. Cleveland with good shoulder pressure there. I like that. Nice, nice little tripod there. Yeah, that had an arm is coming, Blake. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's, and it looks like it might be trouble. She can get that leg out, and she's cutting it out just fine. Romo's going to... Man, look at the shin guard there. It got wadded up of Cleveland. She worked hard to get that leg out of there. Now Romo's going to want to try to get some. Yeah, Tasha's got a very tight choke there. Romo's looking to reverse her. Romo Romo's looking to chase the back out. here. Yeah, got the leg. She needs to worry about the choke. A lot of blood there on that white gear. Now Tasha looking to go, maybe going back. Romo looking to get her back in the half guard. Tasha's releasing, she's punching now. It's very smart, very good, uh, uh, what am I trying to say there, of, of her energy. Good good use of her energy, man, just getting really flat on that choke, short time, Romo might be in trouble here. Can she last 10 seconds? Yes, she can. Yes, very she good can. rationing of her energy, I was gonna say there from Tasha. Man, Romo did the damage on the feet and Tasha very close to ending that one on the ground. <laughs> Romo just looked at herself, she's like, ugh. Well, what do you expect wearing all white gear to a fist fight? Yeah, bike? That, that was that was like I said. That's when she came in. That, I, I ah, thought that was a very interesting. Choice. I think that's why she wore it. If we're being honest here. Well, 
Boy, Evelyn, Evelyn's hands. Yeah, always on point. Now we gotta start standing and again. And fast. And yeah. fast. Yeah, you have to ask how quickly is uh, Tasha gonna go back to the wrestling. She doesn't wanna get, look at that shin guard, just wadded up trying to get out of that half guard of Romo. Romo doing a great job of staying composed though, because that was not, that was not loose. Yeah, that was definitely, we were right here on, we were right here at him. We could see it. That was a very, very tight choke, very close. Romo doing a good job of staying composed. Again, uh, Brazilians just do purple belt. Good job of staying, staying uh, composed and trapping that leg again. Both ladies back on their feet. Seconds are out. Cleveland's corner calling for a big breath. Nice feint there, inside leg kick from Tasha. Tasha looking to wrestle right now. On the legs, very good. The representative of Washington State. Now Romo's got yeah, full Romo's guard. Got, yeah, she she like, is a submission threat. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that guillotine is it's good. Not, I don't think it's not. Nah, she's, she's bailed on it. She gave up on the grip. Just holding the head down. Tasha here just solidifying top, top position. Might want to get her head out, though, so the judges don't think she's in trouble. Yeah. And she does just that. Now here we have some inside the inside the guard ground and pound work from Tasha coming, you have to assume. Evelyn Romo, again, a submission threat, has won by submission in the past. Yeah, it, yeah I, it looks like uh, Evelyn's looking to throw up a triangle. Yeah, or, or get away. Either one uh, would be advantageous to being on the ground. Tasha circles to the back there. Good job settling in uh, nice and tight. I like I like that. First thing she does is maintain her chest control, her chest position. Yeah, and I, I, I tell my guys all the time, no daylight between your chest and their back or their chest and your chest. Nope. If you want to control somebody, take away the daylight. That's exactly what she did. Did Tasha Cleveland very, very good job of taking away the daylight, following the hips. She didn't worry about the hooks or the grip. Just worried about staying nice and tight. Now she sees herself in the top side control position with a good underhook here. Uh, and about a minute and a half left to work on top of Evelyn Romo. Here comes some uh, ground and pound. Let's see if Evelyn learned the buggy choke. It's, it's perfectly set up for. No, it's because Tasha's working to smash into mount again and she looking to get that arm triangle. triangle. She likes to head and arm. Can't say I blame her. She's got a good body for it. Yeah, she's got, yeah. She's about to pass off again. That is tight. Evelyn's not following the hips as well this time. Evelyn, I think Evelyn's pulling her by the hair, eh? Looking to bridge, got enough room to breathe. Nice knee on belly, lighten the choke a little bit. You got to figure some punches are coming here from Tasha. Yeah, I wonder what she felt that didn't th that she didn't think Evelyn was going to give up. I that don't know, because that looked good to me. Another good cut and pass there from the T-Rex. Third attempt, will it be a charm for the arm triangle here? Nope, Tasha already bell on that, going back to neon belly. Just really kind of grinding Romo here, really making a statement this round. Goes back to half guard. Good little shots to the body, really keeping a shoulder pinned against Romo at all times, making it very uncomfortable for her, whether she's choking or not. Couple shots to end the round. Nothing wrong with that. Big, big round for Tasha Cleveland. Yeah. And, and again, I said how long would it take? It took five seconds before she's on another takedown. And spent two minutes to finish seconds on top. And that, you know, this, fir this that first round could have gone either way. Right, we had, we had. Yeah, it could have. Uh, again, Romo did a lot of damage with the hands the first half of the round. Then Tasha was very close, we thought, at least to an arm triangle in the second half of the round. So damage of Evelyn Romo versus ev effort to finish of Tasha Cleveland within that first round. No question in the second round. Pretty much so pure domination, maybe 10-8 by Tasha Cleveland. Yeah, that was that 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 takedown happened right away. Yeah. All right, all the corners are out. 
Mouthpieces are in, stools are out, doors are locked. One more round till we crown a champ. Interim <clears throat> straw weight women's champion here. And Tasha's really bringing the pressure back on wrestling again, and Romo has no answer for the takedown. Yeah, the, yeah, the wrestling, the wrestling of Cleveland is just seems to overwhelm. Good wrestling too, actually. It's not that uh, that Romo's just doesn't know, doesn't know how to stop it. It's just that Cleveland's got good good wrestling. A couple good a uh, couple good left hands there. Cleveland obviously a southpaw. A lot of lot of left hand work here. She is passed, basically, right? Is Cleveland? Yeah, she's basically passed. Yeah, really owning that underhook, throwing some good shots there. Mounted. If the cage weren't there, it'd be full mount for sure. And now it is now anyway. It is. Great vines in. Two minutes left here, with full mount for Tasha Cleveland. Evelyn Romo might need to. Uh, Get out of here with the quickness and still and win this round. Because right now Tasha Cleveland can do this for another two minutes or another two hours. It looks yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, she's in a great position here, Blake. Really good. Grinding the forearm into the face. Yeah. Yep. Good job. Good position there. Good hips for Tasha Cleveland. Stri striking, striking whenever it's open, but really doing a good job of just kind of really just making everything uncomfortable. Nice tight position and good chest, good hips, one or the other or both. Yeah, nice, nice base. Yeah. Yeah, just uh, really good top control. Whatever needs to be done here from Cleveland. Looking for an arm bar. Arm bar, Evelyn is uh, looking to escape now, goes back to half guard, got a minute to win it here. Oh, man, just good, good wrestling, ground and pound attack. Good old fashioned meat and taters yeah, out meat of taters. A, meat and taters at Natasha Cleveland. Evelyn looking to frame and get back up. Natasha really putting the pressure down here. Right in front of us, Blake. Yeah. yeah. On top and half guard with 30 seconds left. Good right hand there. Back to the left hand. Right to the body. Yeah, good under good looking, good underhook control with nothing else out of Cleveland. Whenever it just trying to strike, took the underhook. Yeah, that was, went back to that head and arm a few times. Yeah, happy here. Not going to work the pass. I don't think it's going to make Romo kind of switch her hips a couple times. Short time here. I don't I don't see any big risks for Cleveland to take. No, she looks like she's going to try to go to the other side. And another great round. Helps her opponent up, does Tasha Cleveland. Uh, Romo says, no, thank you. Here we see three, two, one, and we're back on wrestling again. Nice hip, just pulls the leg out. Romo offering no real defense, no real. Uh, yeah, that, again, wrestling will change, you know. We, talk about, I, we talked about the four pillars of MMA a little bit earlier. Yeah. Give them the choice. I'll take wrestling yeah. as, as my main weapon every time. Yeah, 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 because, I mean, Evelyn knows how to sprawl. She knows how to hip out, but uh, just, uh, nope, just not really offering anything to her there. Now, is this, this three or five rounds? I know the kickbox ball is five rounds. I think it's, uh, I think that's it. I think that's in yeah. the books, yeah. I certainly, I certainly do believe that that is, uh, that's it. There's no stools, no corner. We go to the judges' scores. With judges' scores of 29, 28, 30, 28, and 30, 27, your winner by unanimous decision out of the blue corner and new interim strawweight champion, Tasha T-Rex Cleveland. You know, I heard a rumor somewhere that she can't armbar a T-Rex. Uh, I think that was proven tonight. Congratulations, young lady. Welcome to XFS. It's an honor to have you here. Beautiful display of, uh, of wrestling, especially ground and pound. I, I'm not quite sure what was missing on those arm triangles, to be honest with you. They looked really, really in there to me. Uh, I think I didn't have a low 
enough how to get that. My coach calls it the ice cream scoop. I got to get that ice cream scoop underneath the chin. Well, a great job of keeping your composure, not, not losing top position. I would say in a nine-minute fight, you probably had at least seven minutes of top control there, just a dominant performance. And uh, congratulations on the XFN uh, interim title. Uh, it was, I hope it was worth the flight for you. What do you got to say worldwide on Flow Combat? Yes, it was definitely worth the flight. I want to thank my coaches and teammates all from the base, and thank you to everyone in 10th Planet San Diego. You guys are amazing. Thank you, Team Hurricane Awesome, and thank you especially to my family supporting me through this entire journey. I know we got a mutual friend, so hey, Manolo, that's for you, right? Anyway, good work, ladies and gentlemen. Please put your hands together for the T-Rex, Miss Tasha Cleveland.